So I've been a pilot since 2004 and a flight instructor since 2008. And over all those years, there's a common question that always comes up. In fact, it, it still comes up and I love to answer it. And it actually relates to what I'm doing right now. The question goes like this. Should I get into playing Microsoft Flight Simulator or something similar? Will that help my actual flight training and my actual path into becoming a private pilot? My answer, I'll, I'll just give it away, it's easy. It's a definitive yes. And what I want to explain are the two reasons why that answer is yes. Number one, as it usually is, is money. Think about what you would spend on two or three flight training lessons alone. I'm talking about the airplane, the instructor, fuel, any other fees. Like, it gets expensive really fast. But for that same amount of money, you could get yourself an entire Xbox system, a good flight controller, and probably a year or two subscription of this game. Now, those two or three hours, yeah, you get to log them in real life but you never get them back, and you can't compare them to the hundreds of hours you could spend playing a game like this and getting the most out of it, getting all the experience out of it. And I also have to say, as it relates to money and value, the bang for your buck of Microsoft Flight Simulator these days is tremendous. All the different aircraft, all the different avionics, all the different airports, all the different terrain and weather situations. You can do VFR flight. You could do instrument flight. By the way, I'm not really paying attention. I'm just kind of joyriding here. But you can put yourself into all of these different scenarios and situations virtually and do it over and over and gain a lot of comfort and, and command at the controls. So price, value, just think about it. Let it sink in for a second. It's definitely a worthwhile investment if you're serious about becoming a pilot. So obviously money, it's always a factor, but how about the other half? Time, that's usually a big one too. But what I'm talking about here is loggable time. Yeah, certainly you can't log any of this as, uh, as, as credit towards your private uh, certificate or your instrument rating or anything else like that. But that doesn't mean it's not valuable. If every flight hour carries value, well, maybe every three hours a flight sim carries just as much as that one hour of actual flight training. Again, because of the realism of this game, the simulation of it, you could actually simulate a flight that you will be doing in real life before you get behind the controls of an actual airplane. And just think about how valuable that is also this, I can't tell you how many beginning private pilot students I worked with directly. And I could instantly tell they had a better grasp than normal on the stick and rudder. Now, why was that? <laughs> well, because they had been playing this game. And I'm not here to say that everything is accurate, you know, down to every little precise detail. Certainly, body sensations in the airplane, that cannot be simulated real life to a simulator. But in terms of stick and rudder stuff and sights and sounds and attitude and pitch, and, you know, controlling an airplane around all three axes, there's a lot here to be gained, especially if you're brand new to being a pilot. So let me just go back and hopefully nail down what has become obvious in this video. Whether you're an airline pilot, whether you're a student pilot, whether you're somewhere in between, this game is so good and so realistic, there's no way it can hurt, but it can definitely only help your piloting skills. So, safe flying, and I wish you good luck.